Hello everyone, welcome on back to Survival Challenge. Well, first things first, we're going to start on the field we just planted, or not planted, plowed up last time for the lime. We'll get that going, and then I think we'll probably go and get one of these grass fields mowed and uh, picked up, get it starting through the grass dryer. So I did just use 50,000 liters on both of the uh, sheep and cows, so like in total, between both. So they're full again, and they're not anywhere near full. I'm not sure how long one of these 10,000 liter tanks will go. Hopefully a while. We'll probably go a little bit farther out even. It's a wide width. Like hopefully I can get, you know, two strips or something that's a decent amount. And then, you know, go fill it up. Right now it's not looking too bad. We're about the halfway mark and we're 65% full now. Like I said, I just, I just want this to make it two strips. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna though. Yeah, probably not, because we're not even going to be at 50% coming back. We'll be at like 40. Even less than 40. 35, probably. Yeah, it's going to be even less. Yeah, as soon as I say that. Wow, that's, uh, that's not going to go very far, is it? You know, it is, uh, you know... 42 meter width so it's gonna go pretty quick when you're doing that wide of a width like that it, uh, it would be nice if I had the capacity of some of the other ones because some of the other ones I get like 20,000 liter capacity It'd be nice if I had that along with this width that would be the ideal setup. I think this field will need it after this next harvest as well. It is June. I did forget to say that. It is June, so soybeans will be sold. It's like $350,000. Quite a bit of soybeans to be sold. That's not including you know environmental bonuses. Which I think are a little bit lower right now, the environmental. Just because of this field not being in the perfect condition. We'll get it there though, we'll get it there. Let's take a little bit of time. Yeah, we'll see. I think we probably get another strip after this, but they should be a little bit shorter coming up. Yeah, it's definitely gonna it's gonna be a little while to get this whole thing done. And we're only adding like 0.6. I think that's the highest I've seen is silty clay at 0.6. But not too bad. Still, we should only have to fill it up maybe one more time. <laughs> I'll still fill it up after I'm done. Just as a good measure to have it done and don't gotta you know, 
grab it one time thinking, oh, hey, I just need to do this one small field quickly, and then I actually got to go and buy something, you know, lime quick first. It'll just be ready for us. Yep. About to finish that little piece, and then we can go do the rest. So it might be another one even after this. We'll spend six grand in lime on this field. Really isn't that bad, because if you're buying bags, it's a little bit more expensive than this. But obviously we're buying straight bulk. And normally that would be, you know, a little bit cheaper to do. I'll have to check on the soybeans. I think they're still going up, so we might hold off a little bit before we go and sell those. They're getting there. I think there are five or ten grand a little, you know, below right now. When I checked the last time. Try and just, you know, have a really narrow strip through here. Get this a little piece. And then we'll widen it back out. Yeah, we'll quickly check at it. It is about 10 grand below. It shows it's still going up. It'll be about two loads with the semi. Um, and we get to see if there's any issues, because that is a tipper trailer, and I can almost guarantee it is, it's gonna probably go out of the roof. That, that selling point, the co-op does have kind of a short roof on it, so. We were tipping through it with the other trailer as well. I'm not sure if there's a, you know, a collision that does eventually occur get farther out here that part I do not know we'll figure that out probably towards the end I might do that I would imagine the price should keep climbing point seven five that's that's probably the highest I've seen now Oh, 0.875. As soon as I say that, Loam is probably the most. I think this usually is the most. It's also your best yielding section. We'll go one last strip. Made it a little bit more narrow. Can we finish it this though? Should be able to. It's a nice cloudy day. No rain when I checked. Or when I obviously from what I see. I haven't actually checked the weather, but nothing in the next coming hours for rain. And usually if it doesn't show up there, it's Probably not going to affect us. Come on. And I think we have it. I did widen it back out. I just want to make sure it's all the way out. No, one more. Okay. Well, I'm going to call that good. Right, so let's get these unfolded. 
I think yield wise it probably would be best if we did the top field but both will have to be done eventually Yeah, yellow. <laughs> That's not great. And this is the best it's ever going to be. This is top pH fertilizer. Yeah, it's, it's the top it'll ever be, and it's not great. It's not great. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start a time lapse, so I'll talk to everyone once the time lapse is done. So we should be on the final strip here. Sure there's small little bits and pieces left uh, left over. There always are. Always are. I try to do the, the best to clean it up, but it's uh it's probably not gonna be perfect. It doesn't look too bad. Don't see any down there. It looks uh, looks pretty dang clean. We'll go and get this emptied in there. So we got what 140 thousand liters from that. So not too bad, not too bad at all. We'll do a quick check on the soybean price. Have if it hasn't changed much, then. We'll continue waiting. All right, so it, it has gone up. It's gone up, what, four grand, five grand? And let's get this turned on. So we'll, have a, we'll have a good amount of hay in there once that's all through the dryer. Doesn't take much for the animals to eat it, but well, I think I'm gonna do the planting first then before we bring the soybeans down to sell. It'll take two trips down to sell everything. So not too bad. How are we doing on seeds?
just to be safe, I'm going to fill it up. I went right by it. Just to be safe. It is a fairly large field, a decent amount of silty clay, and uh, well, both of those things require a lot more seeds. Now next month, I don't think we have any harvest going. We either will we'll skip a month or something in there. Take a look, obviously, if there's you know good things to sell, then we'll sell something and then go to the go to the next month. Oh, I'm just a hair off. There we go. <laughs> took a took a little bit, but we got it. All right. So we won't obviously need the fertilizer. It's just a uh, then some there. I matter do it. These roads are really tight. I have nobody to blame for that but myself, though. I did widen them out, some roads out, too, so... I really only have myself to blame on it. get going with this this is probably gonna take a take a hot minute I'm sure to get this whole field planted yeah I'll probably uh, do a time-lapse here so I'll uh, talk to everyone once the time-lapse is done So we got one more strip after this, so not too much. Then we can go and get the soybeans sold. Should be two trips for the soybeans, so not too much to bring down. Obviously, we could have uh, very easily finished this without filling up seeds, but uh, this is one of the, one of those things. It's easy enough to do. You know, we don't have to worry about it then. Obviously, there was a good amount of silty clay, so I didn't want to want to have to run out in the middle. Because obviously, silty clay does take a higher seed rate to try and offset the lower yields. Still used almost half, though. Well, I'm almost two and a half thousand liters of seeds. 2,300 and something is a guesstimate basically 
Go and get this put back into the yard. Then we'll grab the semi. Get it filled up. Like I said, should be two loads, 90,000 liters to be sold. This should go a lot faster than it did before. The fold straight there down to the selling station. In theory, the semi should be, you know, designed to haul heavy loads. It's still 13, 14 miles an hour. This is uphill, but... And dropping. I may have never uh, paid for the maintenance for this. To be fair. But probably could be better. Alright, here we are. Take a nice wide turn. Oh, of course, like I said before, the co-op, it has the environmental bonus. With the main price, it won't be separate. For some reason, it's only at the co-op, though. Now, the real question is, will this... It's going to go through the roof. I'm just curious if it's going to have issues. Okay. They must have planned for this. Oh, that's $262,000. We're at $1.5 million now. I did not plan for taking this tight turn, though. There we go. I'll race back, grab the rest. Get it brought up here. All right, here we are with the final load. Probably, probably be sitting almost at 1.7 after this. Which is just absurd. Oh, almost a little short. <laughs> Well, that is everything for today. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.